Once upon a time, a poor woodcutter lived in a village with his wife and three children. Even though he was very poor, he was honest and truthful. Every morning, he went deep into the thicket to cut trees for wood. He had to work hard from morning to evening to earn his bread. One day, he went out as usual to the forest with his axe. He climbed up a tree on the bank of a river. As he began cutting down a branch, the axe slipped out of his hand and fell into the river. The poor woodcutter hurriedly came down the tree and searched the shallow waters of the river. However, the axe had fallen deep into it and there was no way he could get it back. He sat on the river bank and started weeping bitterly. His axe was everything to him. He would be unable to feed his wife and children without his axe. He had no money to buy another axe. Just then, a yaksha appeared before him. He asked him why he was weeping. My axe has fallen into the river. It was the only one I had. How shall I feed my family now? said the woodcutter. The yaksha took pity on the poor woodcutter and said, Don't worry. I am a good swimmer. I'll get back your axe. Saying so, the yaksha dived into the river. After some time, he came out of the water with an axe in his hand. It was made of pure gold. Is this your axe? the yaksha asked. No, this axe is made of gold. It is not mine. The yaksha kept the golden axe on the bank and dived into the river again. After a few minutes, he came out of the water with an axe made of silver. This must be your axe, he said confidently. But the woodcutter refused again. No, it isn't mine. Mine is an ordinary iron axe. The yaksha left the silver axe on the bank and dived into the water once again. After a few minutes, he brought out an iron one. The woodcutter jumped up to it joy on seeing the axe and cried, ah, This is mine! The yaksha was pleased with the honesty of the woodcutter and said, I am the spirit of the river. I commend your honesty. The iron axe is certainly yours. But I present you both the golden and the silver axe as a reward. The woodcutter gratefully accepted all the three axes from the yaksha. He bowed to him in deep reverence and then turned homeward to give the good news to his wife and children. Moral, honesty is always rewarded. Ah, 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 ah,